Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 6, inline versus external JavaScript, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies, my name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the different places where JavaScript can be present and also the advantages of external JavaScript over inline JavaScript. Right now, let's understand that very clearly. Keep in mind, JavaScript can be placed either inline on the page or in an external .js file. So to understand this sentence very clearly, right now let me jump into Visual Studio Code. As I said in my earlier session, I'll be using Visual Studio Code throughout this video series to write JavaScript. So right now what I'll do is I'll click on the file menu and I'm going to open the folder where I'm, to, where I'm going to save my HTML file. This is the folder and I'm selecting that. and when I do that, you can observe here, right now, you'll get that folder and you have, you have got an icon. When I click on this icon, I can add files. So whatever file I'm going to add, now I'm going to add a HTML file. So I'll name it as demo.html. And observe very carefully, now in this HTML file, what I'm going to write, HTML, and let me write a head tag. And within that head tag, let me add a title telling like it's a demo, demo of uh, JavaScript. And after that, let me add a body tag. And right now what I'll do is I'll take a label element. To that label element, I'll assign the name as number. And after that, immediately what I'll do is I'll take a input element and the type will be of number, okay? And after that, I'm going to take a button. Okay, I'll name the button as check the number. Now, when I do control S, okay, now what I'll do is I'll go to the folder where I've saved this. Okay, and I'll click on the file menu. And this is the folder, this is the place uh, where I've saved the file. This is the file. So, when I double click on this, now let us see what's going to happen. You can observe here very clearly. We are getting a text box, okay, and the label is number. Now, when I enter the number and when I click on this, okay, what should happen is, okay, when I as soon as I click on this button, check number, okay, we have to get an alert message telling like 10 is even number. Suppose if I enter a 11, okay. Now, when I click on this button, okay, we have to get an alert message telling like 11 is hot number. So, what I need to do is I need to write a bit of JavaScript code function attached at, at, attached to this button. So how do I do that? It's very simple. Now what I'll do is within this head tag, I'll take a script tag. Okay. And as I said you earlier, I'll specify the type. Okay. This type attribute tells like whether you are writing what type of script, whether it's a JavaScript or it may be the other scripting language. So I'm going to specify like text bar JavaScript. Now when I do control S, okay. Now what I what I'm going to do here is okay, it's very simple. Now I'll add ID to this input button and I'll name it as text box. Okay. And to this button, okay, I'm going to attach one event that is on click event. Okay. On click event it has to call a function. The function name is is even. Okay. Now what happens is when someone clicks on this button, this function has to get triggered and this is a JavaScript function. So I'm writing a definition to this function within the script tag. So I'll call a function and the function if you and see, okay. Function and the function name is is even. Let me tell like And now let me write a definition to the function. What this function has to do is, as soon as the user click on the button, it has to check whether the entered number is even or not. So what I'll do is, uh, first I have to fetch the number from this input type, input text box. So how do I fetch? I can fetch by identifying this element with this ID. So what I'll do is, I'll create a variable. Variable, uh, I'll take it as number. 
is equal to how do I identify this element with the ID so I have to call document dot the function present in this document dot get element element by ID okay the ID is text box and dot I have to fetch the value in it fine now what I do is I'm identifying this element with the ID text box and I'm taking the value present in it okay once I'm having that what I need to do is I need to check uh, whether the value whether the number is even or not okay so what I'll do you can observe very carefully if okay if number modulus by 2 equal to equal to 0 in the sense if user entered number when divided by 0 it provides when divided by 2 if it provides 0 then it is a even number alert a message telling like okay, is even number if not observe very carefully if not print it like alert is odd number control s now let me go back okay now let me go back and let me refresh the page you can observe here now when I enter 10 now when I click on check number we're getting alert message telling like 10 is even number okay this is what the JavaScript code we wrote right now and if I enter like 11 and when I click on this check number we're getting a message telling like 11 is odd number so what did we do is we wrote this JavaScript code which is present here you can observe very carefully okay we wrote this JavaScript code to execute that that logic okay now what we are doing is we are writing this JavaScript code within the HTML page and within the script element so this way of writing the JavaScript code within the HTML within the HTML uh, element and within the script element is called inline way of writing the JavaScript I repeat writing the JavaScript within the script element present inside the HTML tag or HTML element that way of writing the JavaScript is called inline way of writing the JavaScript so right now we saw like how to write the inline in the sense inline way of writing the JavaScript right now let me show show you the external uh, way of writing the JavaScript it's very simple now what I'll do is um, I'll add another file to this folder okay the file name I'll name it as um, sample dot JS and this is the file now let me open this also okay this is what let me swap it okay you can observe very carefully here okay this is what the JavaScript code what we wrote this is what the HTML code what we wrote earlier right now what we do is we learned like what is in inline way of writing the JavaScript in the sense writing the JavaScript code within the script element and placing the script element within this HTML page itself but uh, external way of writing JavaScript is completely different what I'll do right now is I'll cut this entire thing entire code what I've written and I'll paste it in this file you can observe very carefully here I have a file called sample.js I'll paste it here and keep in mind this sample.js file it's a JavaScript file okay how do you save it you have to save it with a dot JS extension in the sense JS stands for JavaScript and this is a JavaScript file so the logic to this is even method is present in this uh, in this file now if I if I want to make this button to work in the sense if someone clicks on this button it has to execute the logic present inside this function so how do I do that it's very simple what I need to do is I need to give a link of this file to this HTML page how do I do that it's very simple now I'll call a script tag again and inside the script tag I need to call a source attribute okay in the source attribute what I need to do is I need to give the path of this file how do I do that I'll click on the sample.js right click copy path and here you can observe very carefully I'll close this okay you can observe very carefully we are here we are having the path now what I do is I just copy the path of the sample.js and to this source attribute we have to assign the path that's what I did and let me now when I do control s when I go back and when I refresh the page now when I enter 10 you can observe as soon as I click the number it's not 
validating let, now let us check what's the problem present there it's very simple source control okay now the problem is I did not save this file control s and this control s now let me go back and let me refresh now when I enter 10 now when I click on this you can observe we're getting the same functionality what happened earlier like when we did for inline way of inline way of writing the JavaScript and this is what we wrote the external way of JavaScript okay and what did we do is we did the simple thing like we completely um, removed the logic present in the HTML page which is present in the script element and we pasted it in a separate file and we named the file as sample.js and we have given the link or source of this link this JS file to this HTML page using the source attribute within the script element this way of writing okay keep in mind this way of writing the JavaScript code in a separate file and then giving a link of it that is called external way of writing the JavaScript okay I hope you understood both of them that is inline as well as external and coming back to my presentation okay uh, the advantages of ex keep in mind the advantages of external JavaScript over inline JavaScript the first point is maintainability okay writing JavaScript in external files can be referenced on multiple pages without having to duplicate the code in line on every page in the sense you can observe very clearly like this function this logic if I want to make it execute in multiple if I want this JavaScript code in multiple um, HTML pages then what I need to do is if I do inline styling every time I need to copy this code and paste it in each and every page but coming to external style instead of writing the logic every time what we have to do is to the multiple pages we have to just give a link okay that solves uh, that makes the that makes the uh, work very easy okay that's what the meaning of this sentence and if something has to change you have to change at one place only for example now you have copied this logic to the 10 web pages okay and is now currently it is checking only for even number suppose if you want to check the uh, check it for odd number what you need to do is you need to change the logic at one place okay and this will be uh, reflected in all the pages where you are given the link of this file okay that's what the meaning of this sentence and finally external JavaScript can be reused and maintenance will be easier compared to inline and external external JavaScript code what we write it can be reused and maintenance wise it will be very easier because we should alter at only one po at only one page and that will be reflected in multiple pages where it has called okay and coming to the separation of concerns keep in mind storing JavaScript in a separate external file that is .js file strongly uh, follows separation of concern design principle okay that's the advantage of uh, storing your JavaScript code in an external style external file okay and it is good practice to separate HTML CSS and JavaScript okay keep in mind whenever you're building a web application it's very good practice you have to separate all the three things they are HTML CSS and JavaScript and doing this separating HTML CSS and JavaScript you allow the multiple developers to work simultaneously in the sense if you are three developers and each developer can work on three different files like HTML CSS and JavaScript simultaneously that's the advantage of the separation of concerns and coming to the performance issue an external JavaScript can be cached by the browser keep in mind external JavaScript file can be cached by the browser but the inline JavaScript on the page it's loaded every time when the page loads so the advantages better will go with the external JavaScript file because it's having many advantages like maintainability separation of concerns and the performance so whenever we build a web application or what type of application it is okay we should always go with the external JavaScript because of its advantages so finally in this session we learned like okay uh, where to place the JavaScript whether uh, we have to go with the inline or the external and also we saw the advantages of external JavaScript over inline and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel and pro training you can also like our Facebook page visiting these URLs we are also on Twitter, you can follow us. For further references, visit our websites. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.